In my hand, I have a marble. I'm going to drop it on this drum. Pretty cool, huh? It's pretty cool. Question is, can we make it like 10 times cooler? I want to make this drum as exciting as I can. And this week I had an idea on how to do that. Let me show you. If we zoom in on the drum and I drop the marble from outside the screen, it's kind of hard to even see the marble, despite the fact that this one is pretty big. What if the drum would move when being hit? Let's try. Oh, yes. That visualization of the drum moving when being hit is so cool. <laughs> Why am I doing this project? I'm doing it to have fun and to make awe and wonder. And I think if we could make the drums move when being hit, I think we have a hit on our hands. Let's make a fast one day prototype to test this. I need a way to hold the drum. So I'm making this simple little wood block and I'm bolting it to the side of the drum. I bolted on this pivot. Don't mind me, I'm just out here fishing. And then I secured the drum to the workbench and added this spring. Looks pretty good. Now I want to set the top position. So I'm angling the drum and then I'm putting a screw here. Quick sneak peek. That's not too bad. Larger marble. Mm, I think we got something. Okay, this floating look like the drum is just hanging mid-air without anything underneath it. It's super cool. Let's try it with a small marble. Ah, oh, that's actually great. Let's try it with a larger marble. So you saw there, it bounced back and then moved again like that with the large marble. I think it moves too much with the large marble. Let's tighten the springs. Okay, tighter springs. I, it moves a bit less. But this is actually great news because I was worried we had to use super large marbles to get the drum to move, but we don't. Oh, that's perfect. So even though the marble is as fast as before, you kind of see the marble better because the drum gives this visual response. I have been hit and I'm making a sound. And that's what anime music does so well. Like you listen with your eyes when you watch anime music. I want the same for my marble machine. Two marbles directly after each other. So we will have a timing delay of the second marble and we can actually account for that in the programming profiles. So are we compromising the music timing for the second marble? Yes, we are. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I spent three years trying to get timing below two milliseconds standard deviation on this thing. I don't care about that anymore because I want the drum to move. <laughs> Easy. Just imagine you play a retro wave beat and the tom drum fill comes. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And you see the toms moving. That's what's gonna sell out the arenas. This was just the first experiment out of two I want to make, because this looks beautiful and all, but I think we can make it better. What if we put another pivot over here so the whole arm can pivot a bit as well? Okay, let's make a pivot over here. I'm clamping some wood to these stands and then I'm drilling a hole and that's going to be the hole for the pivot. And while I'm putting the pivot together, I want to say huge thanks to the 29 new Vintergatan backers who have chosen to support these videos through Patreon and YouTube memberships. I'm getting sponsorship emails from all the brands that you're seeing sponsoring all the other channels. And for some reason, it feels really good to not sell all these products to you, my intelligent audience that I really care a lot about. And the support through Patreon and YouTube memberships allows me to keep on declining those external sponsorship offers. Thank you all so much. And the pivot seems to be ready and I'm using a counterweight to balance the entire contraption. Right now this side is too heavy, but I don't need to reduce these weights. I can just move them closer to the center, which will reduce their leverage on this lever. So let's move this in. So let's do it too much. Now the drum is heavier. And I just move them closer to the pivot. I actually want them to go that way. Because then when we 
put a stop here. Oh wow, beautiful. I want the drum to return to exactly the same height every time. So I'm putting a stop here. There we go. Okay, two pivots. We have this pivot and we have this pivot. Okay, both pivots are activated. Let's try with the larger marble. Cool, doesn't look perfect yet. It's kind of too much movement. So now we can isolate the movements. I'm locking the back pivot. So now we have only this, both. So let's lock this movement. I'm just gonna put a screw through it so it can't move. Now we'll only have this movement. See how that feels. That's also not too bad. I have to look in the camera. It's quite slow on the return. That's a bit of a problem. Increased counterweight. Yeah. We can tune the movement by just moving the counterweight. Could be a feature for the design requirement for, for this setup. That's pretty cool. You kind of don't want the drum to move longer than the sound. If it's boom, you want boom, like in any music. I'm adding back this pivot. And then I'm going to strengthen the springs. Oh. Now there's only this pivot. That pivot isn't moving at all. Moving the counterweight a bit. See if we can get action from both. Yes. I think both pivots maybe looks worse. Let's move this back. I kind of want a combination of this movement and this movement. One way to do that would be to drill a new hole here. Oh, that looks good. Okay, zoomed in shot. Smaller marble. I mean, even that looks nice. That little movement right there. That tiny little movement makes a huge difference. Oh. Wilson, well, so I made a drum move. Check this out. What do you think? Uh, it sucks. If we compare the moving drum with the drum that is standing still when being hit, I know which machine I want to work with for the upcoming 10 years. I want the drums to move. I think it's brilliant. I think it's childish and awesome. And it invokes this awe and wonder about life that I want my artwork to invoke. So I want all the instruments to show that they're being hit. Symbol, for example, is really simple. It shows. And I'm working much more structured than what it might seem. So the design process has a planning phase and a delivery phase, and I'm firmly in the planning phase currently. The main feedback I'm getting from engineers is that I'm doing prototyping too early. This is actually not prototyping. So this is part of the planning. I'm trying to plan for an art project that will become a success. I'm trying to plan for an instrument that I want to live and work with for 10, 15, 20 years. And what I'm really doing with all this tinkering is finding out what's important to me in my own project. Last spring, I developed a design sequence for the Marble Machine project, which I am following. And prototyping is first at step 15. And currently I am at step two. I'm still only at step two, the planning phase. So if we have 18 steps to this design and that I'm still on step two, that sounds like things are moving really slow, doesn't it? Well, that's the whole point for the third marble machine. I want to lay such a firm foundation for this project so that the project can become a success. That foundation was a step that I skipped for the first two machines. 
in step four, I'm starting to write requirements. So the tinkering we've been doing today will be very helpful when writing those design requirements. For example, now I have a new design requirement that the drums should move when being hit. I'm basically at such an early step in my design process where I'm doing research and I'm doing planning to kind of find out a machine that I'm excited enough to really go through with. On the other hand, if I stay tinkering on this phase forever, the machine will never get done. And if I add features forever and allow my perfectionism to run wild, the Marble Machine 3 will never happen. This morning I saw the Marble Machine from Engenisi that makes pixel art. And Engenisi is also losing his marbles, so I can relate. Which is why I'm going to engineer I guess most of you know this channel already, but uh, Engineers is making great videos, so highly recommend and great work on, on that marble machine. See you next Wednesday. Ciao.